Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn how to tune the Maihar style sitar. You can distinguish this kind of sitar from the Balayat Khan style by these two bass strings you see here. In this video we're going to tune the sitar to the key of D and we'll be using both the Western letter notation, A, B, C, D, as well as the Indian Sargam notation, uh, Saregama, to refer to the pitches. So, we'll begin with the four main playing strings, which you see here. And we'll start with the bottom-most string. So we're going to move the sitar to an upright-facing position, like so. Now tuning the four main playing strings has two steps. One is that we're going to adjust the uh, four pegs for the rough tuning. And then we're going to use the four beads for fine tuning. You also want to be sure to support the neck of the instrument with your knee uh, because we're going to be putting some downward pressure into these pegs to hold them into place. And you don't want to uh, damage your sitar. So beginning with the bottommost string, we're going to tune this uh, first roughly using the peg. Once it's in the vicinity, we'll move on. So the pitch for this string will be Ma, which in Western notation is G in this key. Okay, so now moving on to the next string up, the second string. This will be tuned to Sa or D. So again, you can do uh, rough tuning with this peg. Now we'll roll the sitar forward again. Moving on to the third string, bass string. Uh, this will be tuned to Pa or A using this peg. And finally, the fourth playing string will be tuned to D, which is Sa. Once you have these four playing strings roughly tuned, you may want to do one round of fine tuning in the upright playing position. So adjustments for the first string fine tuning can be done with this bead. Uh, when you push it downwards, the pitch will go up, like so. When you pull the bead up, the pitch will come down. And same thing for the second bead for the second string. For the two bass string beads, when you push the uh, bead upwards, the pitch will go up. And when you bring it down, the pitch will come down. So once you've completed tuning the four playing strings, we'll move on to the Chikari strings. So these are the three strings at the top of the first, uh, the upper row of strings. These three strings. Shikari strings are used for resonance as well as rhythm. So we'll begin with the bottom most of these three using this peg. So this will be tuned to Pa or A in this scale. Uh, by the way, we're tuning to the Bilaval scale, which is equivalent to the Western major scale. Uh, next string will be tuned to D, Sa, middle Sa. And finally, the topmost string will be tuned to high sa or D. Okay, now moving on to the tarab or sympathetic strings. So the basic uh, principle for tuning these strings, standard tuning, is you start with your tonic or sa. You choose the next note below that in whatever scale, in this case, ni uh, or C sharp, then back to sa, and then you go up the scale using each note that you plan to play in the scale. Uh, often you'll double uh, one of the pitches, so you'll tune two of these strings to the same pitch. In this case, we're going to tune two strings to pa. So, starting one by one, first string is sa or d, ni or c sharp, sa, d, re, e, Ga, F sharp, Ma, G, Pa, A, again, Pa, A, Dha, B, 
knee, C sharp, D, Sa. Then the upper octave, Re, which is E, and finally Ga, F sharp. So now in the final stages of tuning, you'll want to check all the strings in the playing position. Once you've completed a full round of tuning, you may find that some of the strings are slightly off. So I suggest you review all the strings, use the beads for the fine adjustment for the four main playing strings. And finally, as you're doing this for the, more, uh, for the four main playing strings, you're going to want to stretch these strings if you haven't fully tuned up the sitar before. This will take out any slack that may cause the string to slowly come down in pitch. For instance, after making an adjustment, stretch the string with your left hand, listen, reassess, make another adjustment, stretch, and now at this point the string is stable, so I can move on to the next string. So you'll want to do that for the first string, the third string, and the bass string. You don't want to stretch uh, the second string very much at all because it's uh, very fragile, it'll snap easily. In the final step of tuning, you'll want to set your frets to the scale that you plan to play. On the sitar, as compared to uh, guitar or vena, you see that there's a couple of uh, quote-unquote missing frets. Um, the Indian scales don't often, or Indian ragas don't often use both of these uh, pitches. So instead of having a fret in each position, we have only one fret and we slide it to the position we're going to use. So for instance, if I wanted to use the minor second, como re, I would grab both ends of the fret and slide it upwards. So for the Bilaval scale, you want to make sure your frets are in this configuration. All right, that's it. Thank you.